Hey yo, what's going on with the viewers of the tube? Tyler here of Chico Crypto coming to you guys with a candid video on this Wednesday midweek hump day. And Bitcoin is in bumping, too. It's so volatile this past week, pump and dumps galore. But as of right now, Bitcoin is starting to trend back up. We had some big news from the Bank of England. Basically, they're going to return. Resume quantitative easing and some bond buying but I'm probably going to get into that with the video here later in the week, so I don't want to go too deep, but I do want to talk about me selling a large chunk of my cryptocurrency. Is it happening right now? Hell no. Am I selling at these lows? But I really want to talk about a plan because a plan for this next run is going to be more important. So before this last bull run I had a solid solid plan and it went like this. Once Bitcoin broke the old all-time high, I would start cashing out 10% of my stack, and every 10k passed that I would begin cashing out 10% more. So once it passed 20k, you know, I wouldn't sell any, you know, but once it reached 30k I would cash out 10% 40k, another 10%. When it went to 50k, another 10%. 60k 10% 70% or 70k 10% all the way up, you know, but. Did I do this? No. No, I did not. I was foolish. If I would have stuck to my plan on Bitcoin this last run reached, you know, 70k, if I would have stuck to my gosh dang plan, I would have cashed out 50% of my portfolio and I'd be sitting on millions and millions of dollars instead of watching it crumble down to. I mean, just over a million. Um, I was a fool. I didn't even stick to my own plan because just like a lot of people in this space, I got caught up in the bull run hype. Um, once it started ripping, I was like, why would I sell, you know, what's the point of selling? You know I'm gonna make a lot more once Bitcoin reaches 100k and beyond. Well, Bitcoin didn't reach 100k, it only reached 70k and... I could have deployed those multi-millions of dollars right now at these bear market lows and then you know, been able to 4x 10 10x even 15x my stack instead of watching it crumble down 7080% like most people in the space. It's a big mistake that I regret. And I'm not going to make that same mistake again. So we should be creating a plan, a plan right now to when you are going to cash out and why. You know well the why is because Bitcoin, it goes up and down seriously. So when it is going up you need to think about cashing out on a set schedule. So what is my plan this time? What am I going to do? Well it's slightly different but similar to last last time. Um, I'm not gonna cash out this time at the old all time high. So if I was going to stick to my plan last time, I'd begin cashing out once it passed 70k and I'd begin my first cash out at 80k doing 10%. I'm not going to do that as we saw this last. You know, bull cycle we hit, you know, just above 60k and then we double top just above 60k near 70k so it's a possible that we have another top like that again, you know, we reach near 60k and then we retrace back down. So I'm going to begin cashing out actually at 50k this time I will begin cashing out slightly differently, not as much, you know. I'm gonna cash out 5% when we reach 50k, 5% when we reach 60k and then 5% when we reach 70k. But I will start increasing that once we pass the old all time high. So when we reach 80k we'll cash out 10%. When we reach 90k I'll cash out another 10% and if we reach 100k I'll cash out another 10%. So that would mean you know if we reach 100k I would have 45% of my portfolio cashed out. That's gonna be a lot of money and I'll be happy that I did in case it retraces. But if it goes past 100k, which is highly possible, I'm going to slow down my cells because I'm gonna wanna capture that value. 100k is going to be a big resistance point for Bitcoin once we reach it, so it's going to be and maybe it blows past it. Maybe it comes crashing down, but if it blows past it, I want to capture some of those some of those gains so I will slow it down. Back down to 5% for every 10k past 100k. So once it reaches, 
You know 110k, I'll have 50% of my portfolio cashed out, 120k, 55%, 130k, 60%, 140k, 65, 50k, you know, 70 and so on and so forth. I believe this is a very solid plan in my opinion, because I've made some estimations of when you know Bitcoin is going to reach some of these numbers. So I have a feeling that Bitcoin is going to reach back up to 50k. That's when I'm going to, you know, start cashing out. Right after that. I have predicted that Bitcoin is going to reach that number in December or actually March around the Bitcoin halving. Which happens in March of 2024. So I will begin my cash out just right after the Bitcoin halving. And, you know, cash out according to that plan. On the way up now. I have a prediction regarding the Bitcoin peak. I have a prediction that it is going to peak out in December of 2025, and I've predicted that Bitcoin would reach about 150k. If that is the case, you know, I will have about 70% of my portfolio cashed out at the peak. I mean, there's a possibility that it does keep going, you know, up towards 180k 200k. And if that is the case, you know, then I'm going to still have some skin in the game and I can get some of those gains. So again, you guys, you gotta have a cash out plan. You know, you have to have it set in stone right now and I'm setting my mind in stone right now. I'm not going to be a fool like the last bull run. Many of us were fools. We're going to get smarter, we're going to get better and we're going to keep on pushing forward. But the final thing I want to talk about is that stinky, stinky, stinky link. So I made a video about it yesterday which ended up doing pretty bad. One of my worst videos I've posted in a long time. Um. So I want to talk to people who watch this video about what it what I predicted. So I predicted in that video yesterday that Big or Chain Link was going to announce two major things number one. They're going to announce the release of staking when it was going to start, and that actually happened today. Sergey announced that staking version 0.1 would be launching in December of this year, and they actually have a an early access program which is based off of your activity. So if you've been using Chainlink um, you've been, you know, helping out the protocol, setting up oracles, you know probably, maybe getting some link pool might have something to do with it. But if you do some of the things involved, you know, with your Web3 wallet, then you will have early access to staking, which happens in December. But I also predicted that they would be releasing the test net of CIP, their cross-chain interoperability protocol that hasn't happened yet. I have it's gonna probably happen tomorrow because Synthetix is presenting on their synthetic teleporters which you SIP. And basically Synthetix has said that the test net for the teleporters would be coming out in October, mid-October. And if they're going to have a test net chain link, SIP definitely needs a test net. So I have a feeling the test net for CIP will be announced tomorrow. Well, you guys, again, I'm going to be cashing out. You know a large chunk of my portfolio, if Bitcoin reaches... You know, 108,090 key will have 90% of my portfolio cashed out and